blessings 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 blessing everyone blessings from eat good tv scissoring savoring little is much with all in it today we are making meatloaf potato surprise let's begin these are all the ingredients we need this is our main ingredients the ground beef that's ground beef around two pounds we need our bouillon seasoning beef bouillon two eggs our bell peppers onion green onions regular onion and green onions parsley italian seasoning salt garlic powder black pepper all-purpose seasoning onion powder we need mozzarella cheese chopped cheese and spinach italian sauce um, this is pergo roasted garlic and herb and this is Italian Caesar's breadcrumbs and panko seasoning and we need two potato two potatoes and we need wax paper you can wa use wax paper or parchment paper but this is all we need for it seems a lot but I'm gonna put it all together for you guys and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for all my upcoming videos so I'm just gonna mix all of this together and pepper it in here. I just mix all the seasoning together. And I'm gonna pour it in the, the meat. And I'm gonna pour the two eggs. And some of the beef bouillon about a tablespoon and all the fresh seasoning going here I'm pouring all the fresh seasoning I just put the beef bouillon all the fresh seasoning and that's it so I'm gonna put I'm gonna massage it together just massage everything in just massage it in seem like a lot but you want your meatloaf to taste good gonna wrap the potato the cheese around the potato so you just put the cheese around the potato put the cheese around the potato and I think I, I can cut a piece of this off it's too long you just squeeze the potato together squeeze this piece to this piece and then you just wrap the cheese around it put the cheese around it the cheese around it and that's it that's it and then you're gonna add the cheese under the bottom when it's when I put the meatloaf on I'm gonna pour it some of the tomato paste in here and I'm gonna mix it with some panko and some breadcrumbs Why I mix it is so that the meatloaf will be moist, very moist. So I just mix it together. Can I add some more? This is a loaded meatloaf with all goodies, loaded with all type of goodies. Okay. And the breadcrumbs is to hold the meatloaf together and the egg is to hold the meatloaf together. But you can always, if you don't eat egg, you don't have to put the egg, just put the breadcrumbs in it. 
that the breadcrumbs hold it together too without the eggs. For every pound of meat is one egg and this is like two pounds or so. About two pounds, about two pounds. I didn't wait but about two pounds. Okay, that should mix through good. Okay, that should be good. Okay, that should be good. And I take this time to welcome all the um the newcomers to my channel and all who that subscribe and who that leave comments. I really appreciate you visiting the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the meat here. Put enough to build the meat up. And you put the cheese there. Put the cheese there. Slice of cheese, slice of cheese. So you need two slices. And add this one here. So that's the potato and the cheese. some spinach some spinach some spinach it's a complete meal some spinach there you're gonna leave two inches to the back And make sure you wash your spinach even if you get it from the supermarket and you think it's in the bag and it's clean make sure you wash it watch it wash your spinach the baby for the baby to sleep I'm gonna cover up this baby to go to bed I'm gonna make sure you have at least two inches here so it won't be able to come out you just make sure everything is nicely covered And see all your onions and your peppers yep 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 see everything you cover it nicely everything is covered so your loaf is nice That's a finished loaf. Okay. This is the second loaf. Now that the oven is the oven is preheated at 350 degrees, so I'm gonna put the meatloaf in now. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the timer on for 50 minutes. I'm gonna put them in the oven. They're going in the oven. And I'm gonna put the timer on for 50 minutes. 
timer on to 50 for 50 minutes and when it's after 50 minutes then I'm gonna put it back for 10 minutes after 50 minutes in the oven I put it back for 10 minutes and then I glaze it with some ketchup and I mix the glaze and show you I was telling you early in the video if you don't have a loaf pan you can just make use the file paper to make a loaf pan so I'm just gonna show you this right now you just use the file paper double one two pieces and you're gonna put them together like this and then you're gonna make your loaf pan just up this side up that side and then just fold it up to up fold it up fold it in put it in and bend this part in and that part like that and then you're gonna put this up put this part in tuck it under put that part in tuck it under and that's your nice loaf tin to put your loaf in in the oven just put it on a, on a tray and when you put your meatloaf these meatloaf in the oven you just put them on a tray I put mine on a tray I took it back out of the oven and I put it on a tray so that's your loaf tin so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add some ketchup to the meatloaf. I'm just gonna brush it on. Add some ketchup. You don't have to add this if you don't have. This is tomato, basil, garlic. But you don't have to. Just a little in it. If you don't have it, you don't have to. Just use ketchup. And this is the roasted garlic and herb sauce tomato sauce if you don't have it use ketchup and just mix it together and then you're gonna so i had just removed the paper you remove the wax paper just cut it off and then you're gonna baste this And you're gonna put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it. gonna sprinkle okay now it's coming out it wasn't coming out before now it's coming out I'm just going to sprinkle this one with some chives. And I'm going to put it in the oven for the next, for 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. Now that the meatloaf is finished, I'm going to cut it. I'm just gonna move this piece over so that you can see the surprise in it. And I'm gonna cut another piece. And 
I'm gonna cut this one. Just move this over a bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut. I have to cut the two inches off first so that we can see the surprise in it. So that's meatloaf potato surprise. Very nice. And it has the cheese in it. Now it's all finished. And I would like to say bye to everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Share, 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 share. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.